incredibly excited that Fallout, the TV show, has just been renewed for a second season, and I figured that now is the time that would make the most sense to go back to Minecraft Fallout Edition. This is something they actually made in 2016 uh, because of 4J Studios' close friendship with the people behind Bethesda, and uh, interestingly enough, this is still available to play to this day. It is very much hidden, and Minecraft lost the rights to call it uh, the Fallout Edition in any form of marketing material. However, it still is around, and most importantly, it actually covers most of the fun things from the game, including right here, Red Rocket, which is in the uh, t TV series too. If I'm not mistaken, you should be able to find dog meat around here. I mean, you know, I guess at this point we could rename him uh, CX303. But yeah, I love the Fallout universe. It's one of the best ones in gaming, in my opinion. And I just think it's wonderful that you can find this here. I, um, I also think it's wonderful that like any other... Uh, 4J mashup pack. If you wanted to, you could go looking around for uh, mashup. You could go look around for music discover. And also, there is a full map with uh, you know stuff to find, tools to get, etc. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But first things first, let's open up our map. Oh, they, the map isn't a properly. <laughs> it's meant to cover the entire world, but this map it looks very fun and fallouty. But I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not doing the job that it's meant to do. Uh, right here, which is just a little bit sad. Um, but yeah, this is the same mashup pack as the 360. This is the legacy console mashup pack, but we're at USB. Basically, they moved it to Bedrock about a year later, and it's maintained its, uh, you know, its place there ever since. And so, um, the fun thing about this is it's not just one Fallout game. As you can see in the distance there, I'm, I think that's a Fallout 3 building. Uh, this is Fallout 4, obviously. Uh, there's a Brotherhood of Steel ship over there. But they also have these small references to Fallout 1 and 2. The only game not represented is Fallout Tactics, which is terrible. But yeah, there's, um... One of the mistakes I made when I first looked around this map that uh, people never forgave me for, if you want to go look in 2016 videos, is the fact that you can find, uh, you know, like a dog somewhere around here if you just look and you just believe in yourself. So I reckon we'll sneak around the back rooms and somewhere in here we'll find it. Or maybe we won't. You know what, maybe... <laughs> Re really the correct place to look should be inside of a car somewhere. But yeah, we're gonna go look in and just maybe believe and maybe see... Oh, okay, I'm so dumb. It was right there. I don't know how I didn't see that the first time, and I think it's crazy that I didn't see it this time. This is my companion, and we'll call him CX303 for now. Um, I remember playing that before I knew what Fallout was. Yeah, a lot of people... The clever thing about this mashup pack is it introduced so many people to Fallout. You might figure it... Also, he's not tamed yet, I guess. Now he is, though. Love that. There's a chance six bones isn't enough, but yeah. Come follow me around. Let's explore the wasteland, buddy. So, um, there's a few places I want to go to today. I'm really excited about that. There's a settlement and a vault just over there. I, you know, I, I love the idea of being a vault dweller. In fact, I like the idea of being a vault dweller so much that because this is a mashup pack, I can actually change my, uh, if, if I find it somewhere in here, I should be able to actually, okay, I don't know what's happening in here. I should actually be able to, um, enjoy the skins that came with this. So, vault dweller mashup pack, here we go. I can decide to be anyone I want to be, including a cowboy over here. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be the vault dweller. You know what? This is... <laughs> How could I be anything else, right? So, hello. I'm IBX... Oh. Hello. I'm IBX Toy Cat. And in a few seconds, look at me. Uh, I just want to put my thumb up right now. And we can enjoy the Fallout mashup pack together. I'm excited. I Honestly, I, I, I say this a lot, but I really think the TV show uh, did justice to... A game series, you know, a game universe in a way that you rarely see, uh, you know, truly done. I think it's cool to see that kind of transition happening. Uh, but yeah, in the same way, this mashup pack does, it brings it into Minecraft in a way that doesn't replicate the gameplay perfectly, but allows you to see some of your favorite things, such as, I believe this is going to be the DC subway from Fallout 3. Um, but yeah, if we want, we can go in there and we can actually take the minecart system around the world, which is what I'm going to do right now. So let's, uh, hop down. I'll bring my dog with me, obviously. I hope he comes with me. <laughs> and we're going to hop in a minecart and we're going to see where it takes us. Again, there, there is a subway inside the games. I don't think you can take an active car or anything, but I'm just curious about where this will bring me. I, I genuinely could not tell you. If you become a cowboy, only Texan accent. I mean, the, uh, the the ghoul cowboy, I believe, is... Uh, actually, yeah, he's a ghoul and a cowboy. I guess he's a cowboy, and then he's a ghoul. Um, he, I would love to be a ghoul cowboy, but the weird thing is he's actually from California. Um, is this based... Um, but yeah, I think the incredible thing about this is it's years old, but it's still one of the best 
uh, co-creations, uh, you know, official Minecraft co-creations of a piece of media. And it kind of goes to show, in my opinion, that there are... The, the art of making things in Minecraft is kind of different to the art of making Minecraft. Minecraft themselves and some of the partner teams, it took them a long time to work out, you know, how to match quality from stuff like this. Also, hello everyone. How's it going? I, uh, I am IBX Vault Cat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. I am curious about how well this holds up and the perspective. So is my dog going to be with me? I went for all that effort to have a dog chat, but I'm going to be honest, I, th I think he's gone forever. Let's see where we ended up today, shall we? I'm very curious about it, and maybe you are too. So, the big attraction, I believe, is going to be Diamond City. But, I am not sure if that's where we ended up. No, it's not at all. Although, ooh, yeah, look at this. We are we are way in the on the other side of the map right now. So, from here we can see some lovely shanty-style buildings. Honestly, something I kind of realized about... The apocalypse recently, I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, uh, we it's fun to imagine, like, oh, what will you do in the apocalypse? And the answer is statistically die. Like, I mean, the the whole apocalypse works because most people die, and most people don't choose to die. They they die kind of uh -huh. randomly. But uh, this is a weird-looking butcher. Is it a robot, do you think? If this is a robot, then what is that? Is, is he just a, a regular dude? <laughs> uh -huh. He's a librarian. Oh, yeah, look at that. I love this this NPC detail right here. Um, and over here, we've got something similar. In fact, something fun about uh, these mesher packs is if we take a quick hop into creative mode or even just turn sheets on for a second, you'll be able to see something really fun, which is even though this was made in 2016, um, because, you know, they, they made it, the, the, the point is is that you can actually access new features and they'll be falloutified. So what, what feature came in the last update? Let's say a, a sniffer, right? Um, if you see a sniffer, he will be a fallout sniffer. They have gone through and they have updated all these years later, which is wild if you ask me. So you can see even like a panda, or for example, oh my god, that's a horrific panda. <laughs> but yeah, um, the idea being that you can use these uh, years and years and years later. So you could also say take a another 1.20 block, um, or even just like, I don't know, take a copper block and see what copper looks like. They won't use it in the builds themselves, but you can see that they make it all fit in uh, Fallout style. Maces, says uh, Brian Starmer. Uh, a mace isn't in Minecraft yet, so it won't be updated texture-wise. But yeah, so anyway, the point is to say is, um, I've been thinking a lot about what, like, my role in an apocalypse would be. Are these gonna be some Brahmin? Oh, whoa, it is! They've all, they've gone for the two-faced. <laughs> oh, that's actually very cool in my opinion. So let's get some food just in case we need it later. Um, I'll use my sword, actually. Just be nice and easy about this. And then let's work out where we're going. Because I... I, I, I like to imagine, like, oh, yeah, I'll be one of those dudes who just sells down in the house. But you know how terrifying that must be? Beyond terrifying. So, um, rather than trying to, like, settle down, uh, you know, somewhere where someone will randomly come through and steal all your stuff one day, it's gonna happen. Uh, and rather than going into a city or a town, you know, these, these exist. This is, uh, this is a Fallout 2 one, if I'm not mistaken. Is this Shady Sands, actually? I, <laughs> I would not know. Is, is there any sign that would give you a, a hint about that? Um, but yeah, I, I feel like settling in a city is where people like kind of settle down at, because there's private security and all of that. But I also never, I never really get the vibe that that's what I want to be doing either. Um, the, uh, so why are you playing this on Bedrock, says Andrew's Bar. Um, when I got a new PC, I, 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 I haven't moved over my capture card. And so I could go back to Legacy Console Edition to play it. But Bedrock has the latest updates, so you can see features that you can't see there. Um, which means, why would you, right? Like, uh, there's, it's a better, ver it, you know, I, I, I love the nostalgia of Legacy Console. And I will always, I always will. Uh, there will be many reasons for me to go there. Um, but right now, it's not the main thing. So, this is a cleric. And this is a lever worker. And this is a fridge. Okay, this is a lovely little build they've got set up over here. But, um, yeah, I feel like cities are going to be a problem because they're a big target. Like, uh, I, I guess, like, in the real world, cities have some dangers. But those dangers are only made up for the fact that there's enough fixes going on there. Oh, is there a vault here? There is a vault here. Oh, let's go in, I guess. So this is a vault I'm not familiar with. But I'm excited to see around it regardless. So this isn't the Fallout 4 vault. But instead... Uh, there's some other experiment going on in here. So, uh, it's probably a vault city. There's a vault next to the town. 
I kind of like this as an idea, like, uh, have the vault extend out into the world, and then it can kind of be like, um... Yeah, again, if I if I was designing a city, the vault would prevent people from being radiated overnight, and the outside would give people access to stuff. Yeah, this is very, very, very interesting feeling for space to be in. Uh, absolute delight. But we're going to be looking around for a music disc, because there are collections to be had. And I'm sure that if they have a, a vault this big, there's going to be something inside of it. I love the full that mashup pack, says Red XE Engineer 580. I totally agree too. Look, look at this, by the way. It is uh, a very fun little map, but we're here to find any secrets we can. So we're going to check every room. Kind of, I guess that's the Bethesda game thing, isn't it? Like, oh, did, I, did I leave some loot behind that I've got to go find? Um, but we're going to go try and find the most, uh, not necessarily obvious, but we're going to try and find the most useful thing that we can. Down there is, so this is the electricity room. Very, very useful to know. The, the power generation. There's a fusion core in here somewhere, no doubt. And then if we look over here, there's... Ooh, what could that be? Arrow of healing, instant health. <laughs> so there's a, you know, there's a more functional fletching table. In the future, they get those. And then back over to this room. I think we've now gone into all of the side branching rooms. There's a fridge room. Or maybe it's like a cyrogenic pod. Cyrogenic? You know, I never know how to say that one. And uh, let's just get out there. Yeah, so that is the entire bottom floor explored. No music disc for me, but maybe on this floor, man. There's <laughs> it's it's fun to me that they're actually properly detailed too. Like there is a shower, there is a, a bed. These are the this, so this is where the vault dwellers live. I doubt they would hide the music disc in one of the random houses. So we're not going to check the random ones. But when there's one that looks like this, I think it's worth at least checking, right? Just in case we miss it. And same over here, which is kind of weird, but it's fine. The door sounds are nice, to be honest. You like the door sounds? It's it's fun that there, there uh, is customization stuff like that. But I, I didn't even know that it was uh, custom. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you that this isn't how Minecraft doors sound. So yeah, this is an entire room just filled, or an entire floor even, just filled with the vault stuff. Kind of nice to look at, but we'll be heading up another floor. And then we're back up to the top, so maybe there was nothing in here. Although, look at this, the computer screen. I just want to hack it, you know, I just want to see if some words rhyme. And uh, now let's head, oh, wait, for, so rather than going back out, let's go to the right. And see if maybe, just maybe, we can't find any little hint at something up here. No, there's not. Okay, no music disc, going home empty-handed. Although I've got an egg. So, you know, if there was, if there was a place to make use of this, I would enjoy that a lot. So, um... This is Fallout. Did they replace the bow of a gun? Or any guns of some sort? I, I I mean, it's against a Minecraft brand guideline. If you want to see what a bow looks like, uh, I'll drop it, obviously. This is a... Uh... So this is... Oh, it's a, it's a crossbow. Oh, so that's funny that they added the bow as a crossbow. So I wonder how they added the crossbow. They added the crossbow as another crossbow. <laughs> well, you know, that's... It's that's that's a funny concept that they didn't realize that in the future Minecraft would just have a crossbow So they kind of got ready for it regardless um, Okay, let's 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 believe in ourselves So if um, yeah, that's that was a fun question. Thank you uh, Pokey J. I I'm always I think it's always fun to find out stuff like that um, The like if you think about it making a texture pack means you have to replace every single texture. And when you make a co-branded one, every single one of those textures needs to fit in some way. Love the mesh pack. I always build Sanctuary up. Oh, that's that's a fun idea. I like that a lot, actually. So let's put on some leather boots. Let's just find a house with somewhere to sleep. Uh, I'm going to eat my food tactically. So rock flesh first. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Nice. So go into sleep. And then we're going to run across the wasteland and we're going to we're going to see if we can't see some way out of this for ourselves. So, um, yeah, that was a vault over there. Very, very fun idea, like a vault city. And we're now going to zoom across, look at some more Brahmin, look at the kind of, like, outskirts, the shanty town, uh, just over here. And then go to the big tower up there. I, I'll be honest with you, I've played through this moment, I've seen videos of this moment so many times, but I, I still... Like, it's still like a faint memory to me. Like, a memory of someone else's memory. But there's a big tower there from which you can watch some crazy stuff going down. And so I'm going to go up there and see if we can maybe watch some crazy stuff go down. 
I imagine not because TNT and Minecraft don't really mix well performance wise and 4J because they're first party they would know not to mess of that too much but maybe just maybe you never know right you never know so we'll put down the spruce fence and we'll jump all the way through this town. There's so much... Okay, you know, honestly, let's kill the Brahmin. Uh, the, <laughs> the radiated, uh, double-headed uh, cows. I think that's one of the sillier things about the Fallout universe, by the way. Like, there's lots of bit which is like, wow, humans are crazy. But sometimes they're a bit like, yeah, so all the cows have two heads now. It's the, uh, the only cows that could survive are the ones with two heads. And it's like, I'm not sure. I'm, you know, I, I'm not... Uh, a speciologist or a radiologist. I can't confirm or deny if that's accurate, but it feels a bit wrong. Do you think this th there'll be branded add-ons in the future? I'd be surprised if not. They have branded everything else. Like, if you want, you can get branded emotes, uh, which is wild. You can find the uh, the Institute. Yeah, oh, wait, under under what? Um, under DC. Oh, that's, that's fun. Definitely we'll have to go under there. Uh, but first, let's go over to this again the, the name escapes me it's a big building um honestly it's a very impressive building i wonder how it didn't uh go on but yeah we uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave all this behind although this looks kind of kind of nice what's over the observe but let's see from inside this if we can't get to the top i have to imagine they build it so that you can and that there's an elevator or something but remember they never use commands it's all just this is how minecraft is built so we'll go in here and then down here, and oh, yeah, what's what's happening with all of this? There's a fresh plate on there, but it's for nothing. So presumably there's some pistons. Wait, what did that just do? So there's some pistons somewhere around here that just went off, and I've got to work out where they are, and I'll be able to do great. I want to port this back to Java and make a radiation mod and incorporate other stuff. I've seen a lot of incredible Fallout stuff on the Java edition of the game. The reason this one's incredible is because it's first party. Like, you know, they they, they manage... They, it's actually branded. But if you're just looking for Fallout style stuff, you can see some wild things out there. By the way, don't I look ridiculous <laughs> just running around with this stuff on here? I I think I totally do. Um, bro is trying to ride the popularity wave with the Fallout TV show. Oh, yeah, 100% Piggle Up. Um, or Piggle Up, sorry. Um, you know, actually, you're not Piggle Up. You Piggle Up. You, I, I, I renamed you. Um... Yeah, I love. I, I am using the opportunity. Uh, it's it's like whenever there's a Minecraft update, I use that right because I would, I I as a creator, it is my interest that as many people as possible see what I do, and I know that there are more people interested in something at a time. So that's the time to go back and do something. So um, with that said, I uh, I'm now gonna also know uh, disrespect just funny yeah. Yeah, I. I do agree that um, when you see some stuff like that, and it looks like people are trying to shade their intentions. Like, um, oh yeah, I'm just playing Fallout right now because I, I just heard about this thing that's eight years old. Yeah, like, roll your eyes. Uh, like, that's not really what's true. But also, ooh, is, there, is that a disc? It's an empty map. The maps are all worth nothing. But having a bit of food is going to be nice. Survive the wasteland a little better. So this is... Oh, wow. Look at the view from up here. This is a view that's worth the render distance. So, again, I want to say that there's a button or something. My, my brain just does not remember it correctly. Because I played Fallout 3 really, really brief spouts. Uh, I've never even finished it, honestly. Uh, maybe it's a good game to go back and to finish. But yeah, look at this. We can see... Uh, we, we can see the, the city over there. And that is... Oh, look, see, there's a pentagon there? Yeah, so I guess we're in DC. Or I guess that is DC. And I just... I want there to be a button that blows it up so bad, internet. Um, so uh, I made uh, Tenpenny Town more accurate in my full app mashup pack world, says J or J. Yeah, I think the cool thing about this is, like, um, if you use the console edition at least, the worlds are... You know, there's no, like, DRM locking them. You can make your own version out of it if you really want to. But yeah, as much as I love Tenpenny Tower and I love the blimp and I love the stuff, I'm going to go and find... Oh, yeah, let's... I'm going to jump below this. I'm going to go find what's happening in the rest of the pack. So let's give myself a bucket of water. Um, you know, just maximize my odds of survival here. I'll make it a cod bucket too. And let's see if we can't survive this. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that went a block up. Kind of glad that it did. And, um, 
now let's uh, jump down. So, Kat, okay, what's your opinion on Fallout movie? I didn't know they made a Fallout movie. Um, I think the in the modern world, right, it used to be that a TV show is like a lazy 20 minutes, just, you know, like, laugh it off, be done. And movies were where you got serious stuff done. But now movies are hovering more like an hour and a half. And TV shows are like, you know, 8 to 12, one hour episodes. If you like a universe, you want it to be a TV show. Like, you know, the, the free body problem works great as a TV show. Would be terrible as a movie. You'd have to miss and skip over so much detail. So we're going to quickly hop into the Pentagon. I am very curious about what's inside here. Uh, looks like the, the Pentagon is not in fact all military secrets anymore. Very, very sad. Um... And, uh, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring a bed of us, too. That, that might be a useful thing to have. And let's conclude that we're not going to be finding, uh, not going to be finding anything too useful here. It is, and there's a potentially broken TNT launcher, says, uh, Red XE Engineer. Oh, really? Does, there's, uh, there is a TNT launcher there. Uh, although I can't imagine it would work because of simulation distance, right? Yeah, you're right. Like, there's, there's no way a TNT launcher from so long ago would be so great. Also, look look at those frogs. <laughs> These are not meant to generate here, but I love them. See, again, when this map came out, there were no radiated frogs they had to worry about, but they actually put them in here all these years later, which I think is great. I, uh, makes me want to go back and uh, enjoy some of the uh, the old console edition. Uh, see, see what else they've done with all of these, honestly. The thing looks like the Colosseum. Yeah, I, honestly, if you think about the Pentagon, the Pentagon's the Colosseum, Colosseum, but for military people. So, apparently below here somewhere, we're going to find, um, we're going to find the Institute. Sorry, not the Enclave, the Institute. Which is, um, if I'm not mistaken, the, yeah, the, the Institute is the East Coast, I think. It's kind of weird that Fallout has that kind of attitude of like, yeah, there's East Coast Fallout and there's West Coast Fallout. There's, you know, there's simps on the East Coast, but they're, they're not on the West. They just never made it out that far. You know, the country basically divides itself in two. Which is weird. You'd figure someone could cross the country, but, you know, I kind of like in The Last of Us, it becomes a very tricky country to move across. But people do still do it. So we'll eat some raw beef. And then we'll eat some cooked beef. And I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to find this under here. Toy Cat, you released a new video. Thank you. I do a very good job. I try my best. Okay, so just down here, it's the Institute. So let's just find where it actually is meant to connect to. Oh, it's this, no, that's the subway. That's not the Institute. So that's the subway. And that's the subway line. And just over here is maybe it. But no, this is just some random basement, it looks like. <laughs> it's interesting that you can... Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so that's... This is something we need to check out. Let's, let's go do it. So I'm very curious. Let's see what happens when we go into here. Um, so I'm going to just trigger this no that's gonna do nothing is there another button i have to press no over here interesting there is in fact i looked at the redstone there is something down here but it clearly either takes time or requires a a second one hmm very strange so just to go back for a second yeah this is there's clearly a link into it from here and then to get to that, you go through here, which comes in through here, which is... You can see just how many layers of, like, convoluted it is to access some of this. But that's the beauty of it, is if you are just genuinely exploring it, you might find something fun. So you go through that, and you go through here, and you go through this, and you go through there, and then you go to the left. And you got some doors. Those doors are not open. So maybe that's what we have to open with this uh, little redstone trigger. So we'll just run through this side, just to see if there's anything here. Eventually... Presumably, yep, there's, there's nothing. It's it's nice to see kind of like war-torn stuff like this anyway. And then let's press that, and presumably that opens those iron doors. So we'll confirm that that's true. So now that we... Nope, that's not it at all. Interesting. So there's a way through here, but you need to know what it is. I, um... I also, by the way, I'll be Cat, will you play 1.21 on your Let's Play World? Um, the answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Did you hear that? I definitely heard something happen. It was a very delayed reaction. But some pistons moved around somewhere. 
But maybe that is an example of broken redstone. Very curious. So yeah, there's a button on the other side of this. So maybe you're just meant to come from down there uh, to up there from somewhere else. I mean, there are other ways down, right? But what what is the actual redstone here meant to be? So there's there's redstone that activates pistons. Yeah, I'm sure that the the redstone just does not work correctly. I'm going to try this again. And we're going to see if that turns it all off. Yeah, I think the redstone gets locked um, somewhere in here. So it's being inverted, but yeah, I, I think this is all broken. <laughs> Does this place uh, have places from New Vegas on it? Currently playing Fallout New Vegas. So yeah, the reason I mention uh, Fallout Season 2 is because the, the thing that it has really inspired me to get into is Fallout New Vegas again. And so as much as I love looking through this world, look at this by the way. This is the Diamond, or Diamond City, not the Diamond. But this is Diamond City from Fallout 4. There are so many great, you know, places in uh, Fallout 4. I, I, I like that game a lot. But the the one that always brings me back, the one that always makes me go, yeah, I need to be there, is Fallout New Vegas. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to download it right now. You can't stop me from downloading Fallout New Vegas. I mean, the fact that I don't have Steam on my PC is apparently going to stop me. Actually, you know, is do you think Fallout? You think it's on Games Pass? I could install it without Steam, if it is. Um, let's let's quickly find out. Fallout. Okay, let's see. Included with Games Pass? Oh no, Fallout One. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, oh right, because um, because Bethesda owns um, Xbox owns Bethesda, so you can just you can just play all the all the games you want to. So yeah, I'm you know I'm just, I've installed it right now. I've got Fallout New Vegas. Will you play Fallout on stream? You know, should I play Fallout on stream? You know, chat. I, I, I mean, I came here to do one thing, right? But it's okay to do an entirely different thing. You just gotta, we just gotta blame it on circumstances, right? If it was my choice to say we were gonna explore the full, fullness of this, and then we did something else, that would be reckless. If we just, you know, if there was like a big accident, um. Then, uh, also, um, no lucky 38, no Hoover Dam. So here's what I heard, Primo Draconis. So Bethesda owns the rights to Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout 1, to Tactics, all that noise. But the, because it was Obsidian that made Fallout New Vegas, they don't consider it to be a mainline game. Um, even though I think most people would say it's the best Fallout game, it's not the, it's not one owned by, um, it's not one that is owned by... Uh, or it's owned by Bethesda, but like it's not one of their main series. In their minds, it's Fallout 3 came out, then Fallout 4 came out, and we made a weird spin-off in the meantime. But yeah, I uh, I want to go down. I want to look at these noodles. Let's hope we don't die. Glad I didn't. Now let's take a peek. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm totally downloading it. It's better than fine. Yeah. So if we, if we slipped, right? If we accidentally slipped, and our our finger just accidentally hit open Fallout New Vegas, like. Purely on accident, there's, you know, there'd be nothing we could do about that, right? If there was a, you know, if there was some terrible reason that we absolutely had to do that, then, you know, I think everyone would understand. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously not that there would be one, uh, nor should we expect it. But yeah, so this is Diamond City. I, I, I think the beauty of this, in my opinion, the beauty of Fallout games is how they kind of show you what it's like to be somewhere... Long after the meaning of that has been lost. Kind of like archaeologists have to do today. But all throughout the game, they're telling you about this place called Diamond City. Diamond City, it's like the big one. And you're picturing diamond as in like, you know, like it's a rich city. And then you finally get here and they open the gates for you. And you're like, oh, they mean diamond as in baseball diamond. Because they took a, you know, a baseball stadium and they turned that into it. And interestingly, if you think about it, a, a, a sports stadium is a really clever place to to have a settlement, a city like this. Because uh, baseball stadiums in the real world, or stadiums as a whole, they're made to keep non-admissible people out. Or rather, to make only people with tickets can get in. And that's for partially money reasons, but also safety reasons. You don't... If people don't have a ticket, then you may like crush each other, etc, etc, etc. Is the 200 tip for realm offer still open? What is 200 tip for realm? I would love to know what you mean. Um... But, uh, yeah, Fallout stream vibe tribes as uh, Cat Vini. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if you think about it, the the walls of this, the, the separation between the players and the stands 
means that there's this big, like, area where it's very hard to get out of. But also where it's hard for other people to get in. They'd have to fall very, very delicately down. Big it, I think it would be really, really smart, personally. Um, and so, yeah, fun fact. That's a thing. Also, it's IBX Slicker. I told chat if they tipped 200 pounds last stream, I'd make a round. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead with it, chat. That's, that's, that's a rule. We are, as, as you all know, we are, uh, we are Cat's one and only, uh, Commander-in-Chief, uh, and so, if you want her to do things, uh, you, you just you, you just you just gotta tip me. It's a it's a widely accepted weird rule we have in life. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I, I like this. I also like that they have uh, paintings that match up with stuff. So I'm gonna quickly uh, just check the status of my download. It's a it's a 47 gigabyte download on PC. On it's weird on the um, if you on the what, what's the word for this the on the Bedrock? That's not the word. On the on the Xbox 360. <laughs> My brain is broken. I was like, I'm trying to describe console versus PC. How do you do this? And my brain could only find the word bedrock in that moment, weirdly. Um Okay, so let's let's see what other paintings there are. So this is Liberty or Death. This is this is nice. Liberty or Death again. This is Motel Vacancy. Life, life is a race win. Okay, um, life is a race win again. That's that's lovely. Okay, so it looks like because of the spaces I'm doing this on, I'm only gonna see like four paintings. It can't be that there are only four paintings though, right? So there are manhole covers, kind of cool stuff like uh, the computer stuff, and then if we go to slightly bigger, we've got sunset and this and oh, and then the uh, the the full American flag, and then below that we've got like two wide vents. So yeah, this is this is kind of cool to me because you can add a lot of depth to a world just with some of these. So we'll make these all into vents. Or into those. See that it's it's clever what you can add to a world just with some good paintings. Is this updated from the console maps? It's Aiden Wheeler. The builds aren't updated, but the content is. So uh, another example of this is we can, I don't know, set block. Uh, let, let's go with, like cherry wood, right? Okay, so cherry wood. Um, this is what a cherry door looks like. As you can see, it's nice and apocalyptic. If we go for cherry wood, if you use any other... Oh, this is really nice looking. Um, if you use any marketplace pack, usually, you know, it's, it's, it's understandable the creators will eventually stop updating it. But this gets full support in a way that is really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, is there a nuke you can set up in this world? Someone said there was a TNT launcher, and I'm going to go find it now. So, yeah, they um, just to show you one last thing, there's a vault over here. There's also those big towers, which I feel like you see them in all the games. But I like the 4Js packed it updated. Makes them all still worth using. Yeah, it's a big deal of effort they're putting in. I, I imagine that's going to end soon. Because, you know, 4J have basically moved on from uh, making this stuff like this. But yeah, isn't this great? So there's two vaults in this pack. And this vault is much newer. But also much nicer looking. Which is interesting. That it's so... Like, this, this looks like a... A very, very nice vault, I would say. I mean, actually, Cat, can you go to the end on this world? Can you go to the end on any world? That's that's the question you should be asking yourself. Um, should we go to the end? Let's let's go check it out. I am curious about the never and the end. I don't imagine they did anything with those dimensions, but I would love to be wrong. Okay, so obsidian. Let's grab some. And then let's grab a, um, a flint and steel. And let's see what's happening. I couldn't, I can't tell you what a flint and steel is, chat. I can tell you a trident is nice looking. Oh, look at the totem and dying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to being toy cat. Just because now that I've got this, I don't need to be uh, too over the top. So back to the legacy pack. Again, sad news for anyone who wants uh, the, the, if you want to be an Ocelot, this pack isn't available to buy if you don't already have it anymore. No idea where they changed that. But yeah, here's something fun. Look, I have I have a little totem of of, of the uh I know calling him full out boy feels weird, but the the the, the vault boy, uh the the one who the puts he puts his thumb up. It's the whole point of the games. Is he the fallout boy? I'm pretty sure he's full. You know, I'm pretty sure that's what that band is named after. Try and correct me on that, I challenge you. Getting a new mattress before your back hurts so bad, it's hard to get a new mattress. It's kind of like buying a new car before your old one won't drive anymore. I think there's a lot of things in life that no one wants to replace because they feel like 
you get no value for replacing them. And so if you wait till the very last moment that you can to replace them, at least you get to feel like, well, now it's a huge upgrade when I spend that money. But also there's something bad about having to spend money. Like the, the, the best purchases in life are ones you make freely, right? You know what feels really good? No, he's Vault Boy. Nah, definitely Fallout Boy. I <laughs> Thank you, Vault Boy. That's what I was looking for. Um, oh, look, there's a painting of him right over here. They've got a lot of these references all around the place. So we'll put this in my main hand. And we can stare at this compared to that. It's very lovely. Um, I need a new car. I don't want a new car, though. But I'm going to view a, uh, a, a new one on Tuesday, says uh, Cat. Uh, and I, I think that's an interesting... Um, I think that's an interesting problem to have. Is like, yeah, something eventually... It has to be replaced. Things are starting to go wrong with it. Because it just it just doesn't feel good ever, right? It never it never feels good to have to get something. But I think that's the thing about life is in general it feels bad to be forced to do anything. The the thing that feels best is when you are in control of your own agency, when you are making your own decisions in the world. I never spotted this in the original. What, what is this? Oh, it's a nice little oasis over here. Very fun. But um, no one wants to ever be forced to do anything. Um. And the the beautiful thing about life. Oh, they have they have this place. Wow. The it's the town founded around a nuke. <laughs> I'm impressed how much of this map is Fallout Free, honestly. Um, also, fi founding a time megaton. Uh, thank you, Jag. I'm really bad at Fallout Free names. I can name nothing in that game. Again, I I feel like I played it, uh, but maybe I'm, I'm did I imagine it? Did I watch a let's play? in my sleep or something because i can name nothing about it i can tell you that the combat was clunky compared to new vegas but do i have that opinion myself or did i imagine it one day uh anyway so in, in we're gonna use spectator to see if we can't find where a tnt launcher is oh no there's not that yeah so there's clearly not one around here if there was there would be some clear redstone traces to follow but there's not okay there's no that's reassuring to know, at least, that I wasn't just missing uh, the TNT launcher around here somewhere. Although, as you can see, it does go quite a bit down. It connects to the, the the subway. Has a whole thing going on over here. To worship the nuke, probably. Beats me. Yeah, it's that beautiful thing about um, societal differences. Uh, is some, some societal differences are actively just a bit crazy. I want an update where the caves go down till Y minus 500. Yeah, me too, honestly. 25 sus. Me too. I would I would love an update that did that. Um, so let's let's hop in. Let's use my bed. I thought I had a bed to go to sleep. Let's go find a bed real quick. In fact, I bet there's a bed in this building somewhere. This is, this is bars, not glass. And that's glass, not bars. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes looking around. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find anything useful in here. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to let a, I'm going to let something kill me so that I can uh, see what the full-out totem looks like. It'll probably just be a normal totem noise because it's after the pack was made. But aren't you curious, chat? You know you want to know. <laughs> it's just... It's normal, but it still is so beautiful. So there's a, uh, a vault under the cathedral in the distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to effect... Uh, at S. We're going to give the night vision to ourselves. The one that, like, isn't terrible. Uh, because that... We'll just set it to that. And then, uh, true. And then we're going to see what we can see underneath. So, under the cathedral in the distance. Is this a cathedral? I mean, it's an industrial cathedral, right? If you really think about it. It's a... It's a cathedral to the idea of industrialism. But let's, let's go... Oh, wait. So, this connects into the subway, too. It's interesting that the subway takes a random turn here, just to then turn back on itself. Again, very, very cool to look around these builds sometimes. And then also they've got... Um... So again, this is a small but cute detail. They have redstone running from these powered things here into the ceiling to power these lamps, so that when you're going by, you can actually see what's happening. It's a small, but it's a cute detail. Uh, hello, IBX Tokyo. Hope you're doing well. Don't want to come across this route. Just wanted to ask if you happen to need a video editor or for your channel, we can offer 14 days free. Oh. See, it's weird. That didn't feel rude at all 
until the end of it, where I'm like, oh, it's someone who is just here to... But you know what? You said I don't mean to feel rude, so it's at least a... It's an admission of... Oh, chat. The game broke. Minecraft crashed. Oh no, there was an emergency. Oh. What do we do about this emergency, chat? The Minecraft's broken. There's definitely no way to get it back. I guess we, we would have to play another game, right? I mean, what else can you do when the Minecraft crashes? Um, there's just there's just no choice. Uh, so we have to now fix Minecraft. Isn't it interesting we can... <laughs> chat, are you enjoying this as much as I am? I hope you're enjoying this. Okay, so um, let's actually fix this correctly enough. Let's just go back in. My download didn't finish. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Institute looks so cool on this map. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for it. I, I'm very, I'm very curious. You got, you got my, my interest peak. So we'll just make this a little bit wider. And then we're gonna go find. So this was saved a while ago, I think. If I'm under there still. So we're gonna zoom back over towards uh, this, and we're gonna go find the Institute and everything else. First time watching you since you were destroying the Willow Mansion. Man, CB, that was a long time ago. Okay, we're gonna head over here. We're gonna see what we see below it. I've never, because the spectator mode is so new, I've never actually, s did you hear that noise? Oh, it's sticky keys. Interesting. <laughs> um, one, of, one of my favorite things about having a new PC build are the things that you don't realize that you turn off in Windows until way after. Okay, so as you can see right here, there is, in fact... Oh, there's a big cave below this. Oh, so this cave would have generated after the fact, right? So this is caves and cliffs just generating under the Fallout world. Kind of cool. It looks pretty decent, all things considered. But um, the beep is a nuke. Okay, everyone watch out. Beeping's happening. You can also see that even though this is a mashup pack world, within the original confines of it, they have an ocean monument here for some reason. This is insanity. Why does Fallout need guardians? <laughs> what is the logic behind this? I would love to know. Um, there may not be may or may or may not be TNT under the town with a nuke. You're not Corbin. Only one way to find out for sure, right? Only one way to be absolutely sure. What's the point of sticky keys? Does anyone actually understand the point of sticky keys? I think it's just there to make the funny noises. Pretty sure that's it. Oh, the may or may not was a may not. It's never a may not. Is there no button on here you can press? There's got to be a button on here you can press. It's the whole point. It's the whole ethical dilemma. Um, so you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab myself a lever. This is, this is just what you do at a certain point. Soul torch? No. Lever? No. There we go. Lever. We're gonna work out what block this is. Block of iron. And then we're gonna set block. Oh, wait, we're gonna fill. There, there, there to 10, 10, 10. TNT replace iron block. And we just make sure we find the right angle on this. It can be a little bit hard sometimes. Okay, there we go. So now there's a bomb made out of TNT. And we just, we just detonate that over there. <laughs> and we get the joy of detonating Megaton. Oh, yeah. Nice. You know, it wasn't as satisfying as I hoped. But it was more satisfying than it could have been. Also, thank you, Chantal X Lee. Uh, oh, wow. Chantal, you've been a member for 48 months now. Uh, which means you officially get the Big Salmon next to your name. That is exciting. Uh, Big Salmon indeed. I, um... There should be Big Salmons on Java too. <laughs> I, You know what's crazy? I went on a, like a, a random Java straight... So uh, on Twitch, you get this thing called Twitch Prime. You get Amazon Prime. It's just $5 you can give to a streamer for free. I, I tried to give it out because otherwise Amazon has my money. I'd rather some random creator have at least half of it. And so, um, oh, here's a music disc. We found one. Just, man, that is such a hard place to find it. Like, we had to go all the way up this thing. But we found a disc after all of this. So that's something. But, um, yeah, the wild thing to me is that um, I, I, I just on some random stream, and I was like, oh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. And they were like, they made a big salmon reference. I was like, man. The fact that this person knew that I played Bedrock, but also knew about the Salmon, blew my mind. Blew my mind entirely. So, you know, the, the Big Salmon is a very big thing. 
Big Salmon on Java shouldn't be a thing, or Toy Cat's reputation would be ruined. Shantao can get some member benefits if she visits Poughkeepsie. Or Poughkeepsie, uh, sorry, as, uh, as it is correctly pronounced. So yeah, this is the full out map. The last couple of things we haven't really peeked at. Again, it feels lazy to do it in creative. But you know what? I bet they made this map in creative. Checkmate. Um, so I can't use the TNC add-on to blow stuff up. Oh, that is actually something fun we can do, isn't it? So, okay, chat. Do you want to do that right now? Take advantage of this being a mashup pack. So here is the Brotherhood of Steel coming in from above. But we can leave the pack. Um, I'll try and vaguely make sure that this is slightly less rounded off now. We're going to go back in and we're going to add on behavior packs. My packs, I none of these are the ones that I was expecting to see here. So we're going to go to the marketplace, which are going to type TNT, and so many things are going to come up. But I just, I just want the add-on and hopefully it knows that. It does not know that. Sort by, filter by pack type. There's no way to sort by add-ons. Ha! <laughs> Why? So I guess we just scroll through the TNT thing. Man, my, my marketplace really makes me question. Okay, so we go to add-ons here. And then we're going to sort through. And then more TNT. And then we download. Yep, download. Easy. There's a lot of steps involved in this. And there we go. Back in to the Fallout world. We'll set it to daytime. I think it'll just look prettier in the day. And then we'll add on the TNT add-on. This is my favorite add-on for just chaos. Now let's do this. 48 months of being able to watch Toycat bathe in skeptical liquids. In indeed, Cat Vini. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the most silly TNT. I think it's the um, the atomic TNT, right? Uh, colossal TNT. Oh, th there is a there is a uh, there is one that claims to be atomic. But mixing it up with something else. So we'll go with Colossal TNT. Just a couple of these tend to be enough to destroy a lot. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do something a little bit silly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna commit what might be a crime in the United States. Because this is the Capitol building. Or at least at one point it was. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place one of these in here. I'm just gonna just gonna walk in. And I'm just gonna place one. Just one single TNT chat. And I'm going to light it, and I'm going to get out of it. And we're going to see what happens to this. So be warned, there might be some lag on the stream now. Ah, uh, you know, it probably won't be lag. You know, if there was lag, I think we'd know about it. Yep, as you can see, it went pretty fine. There, there were no issues with the colossal TNT. I'm guessing TNT explodes must be turned. Oh, no, no, it's just very slow. Well, you know, that was all that happened. That was 100% that was of the chaos. Yeah, I, th I remember there being a bigger one than Colossal. I uh, I felt like Colossal was good, but you know what? We is there is it Mega TNT? Is it there's a there's one that's made from a lot of uh, a lot of these mixed together. Maybe no, it is Colossal TNT. I I just I feel like we could get more from it than this. It didn't seem like it did very much, but maybe that's just the the type of build that it was. So let's now take another one. And let's try and detonate it, like, right out front. Somewhere where it can get a bit more force uh, going, perhaps. Let's see what this does. Oh, we'll, we'll watch, like, four of them, too. There we go. Three, three separate TNTs. Let's see what that does for us. Hopefully a little bit more. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh, wow. That takes a while. And then it launches some more. And there we go. Yeah, there's, there's a chaos that comes from multiple... Multiple colossal TNTs that just can't be replicated with one. Okay, wonderful. So now, if we want to destroy the wasteland, all we have to do is get tactical about this, right? And we could say that from this from this building, what can we see? Uh, and more importantly, what can be within the render distance? So we're gonna run over here, set some colossal TNT off. Um. Yeah, I guess we'd have to do this from, like, the sky or something. But we'll just... We'll have some Colossal TNT over here. And then also some Colossal TNT over here. And we'll try and detonate them both in time. Okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it, chat. Wish me luck. Okay, I, I'm hopefully... 
out for simulation distance for that. And then let's go for this. And we can watch two sets of explosions at once now. From the Joy of our tower over here, which will hopefully be unaffected. Yep, looks fine. No issues up here. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that no explosions even went up. I was in the new Q&A SAS day for like half a millisecond, says Lime for Cat. Congratulations! Assuming you wanted to be there. If you're assuming you didn't, then congratulations. Will you get all the blocks back? Oh, not until 1.21, right? I think that's a mainline feature. So I think I have to get a little bit closer, just for a second. Just to tease the explosions out. Or maybe what I have to do is I have to just load up the simulation distance a bit more. Let's go for it. Let's let's give it a shot. Um, we'll turn simulation distance up to the max. That should make all of the TNT come in the same space. Also, can you launch the colossal TNT? If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Do a 10 by 10 TNT somewhere, says Mr. Gamer. That does sound like fun, doesn't it? Okay, so yeah, now we just wait and we'll see some real results, I think. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff right here, chat. Yeah, it's kind of limited to a small area. It's kind of limited to a small area. You have to... I mean, the, the After Effect TNT is still going to be there. But it's not as great as we might be hoping for. Yeah, if we want, if we want massive destruction, I think we're going to have to go for a lot. Also, Dr. Wasabi and their viewers just joined. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Wasabi and their viewers who just joined. Hello. Um, no, that's... Uh, I, 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 I've heard YouTube has this feature. It's cool that it's, like, built in in such an official way. Good to see you. I am currently playing the Fallout Minecraft map. I'm just about to have a terrible accident that requires me to play Fallout New Vegas. I know, the absolute worst thing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one last big hurrah uh, by using the Colossal TNT uh, and just maybe having a bit of an explosion happening. So just a silly number of TNTs, really. We're just going to put them all in this place. Make sure we get some geographic spread here too, right? Like, try to really cover the place in areas you wouldn't expect. And then from there, we're going to detonate one. So there is... I've never used more than, like, four of this at a, in a time. I don't know what it's going to do, because one of these is already quite a big explosion. It slows down the game. It causes issues. <laughs> oh, yes. There's already quite a big hole from the first explosion. But that's going to detonate the next explosions, which is going to look like this. Whoa, did you hear that? That was wild, chat. Oh, and that's broken the game, I think. Well, um... Have you heard the weather's good recently, Internet? Yeah, what's what's your favorite what's your favorite Fallout game? I'm looking at the sun now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is good frame rate, this is. So, Fallout mashup pack with a very fitting TNT add-on. Didn't expect to see that on my Toy Cat stream bingo card. What you can expect from me Oh wow, the, the force of that knocked me back from all the way up here. Uh what you can expect to see, obviously. Is the fact that... Okay, let's quickly uh, jump over. Okay, good news. We've got six gigabytes left on the on the, on the New Vegas download. Oh, it's gone. There is no city anymore. There was a baseball diamond. Now there is nothing. It is beyond gone. Like, it, there is a hole that represents where it was at some point. <laughs> where did you get this map, says Skibbity? You know what, uh, it, it's available in the marketplace, but I got it years ago on the console edition of the game. Um, let's just, let's just detonate one more, right? I mean, it, it feels weird not to at this point. Okay, so let's just, uh, bounce our way out of that. Take a quick little glance. Okay, so I didn't detonate it, weirdly. Do you think it can't detonate? Cause okay, no, it can't. Look how slow it fell through the air. That's a bad sign. For the amount of duress that my game is currently operating under. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's interesting how Minecraft has a second where they're like, no, there's no way all that went missing. Must be all bad. We'll put it back. And then they're like, oh, no. Really is gone. Whoopsie daisy. 
it's kind of cool to see. You get this interesting pattern of the blocks that survived. Like, it almost is semi-deliberately created, it looks like. Of where the explosion resistance is almost enough to destroy blocks. But not quite perfectly. It's cool. I think the best effect for this would probably be in the blimp here. I bet you could destroy the entirety of the blimp. Like, there could be literally nothing left. With just a few well-placed ones of these. So we're going to do one more thing today, chat. Because DR says, uh, again... Uh, you know, we're gonna do one more thing today. I think it should logically be this. Okay, so we'll just detonate one over there. And we'll go a little bit further up. Hide one in here. We can- we can rig this thing to be exploding... Whenever we need it to be, really. As- as is customary. So just, uh... Dunk a little block in there. And now we need to just make sure the back of this is well covered. Because it is a big... It's a very big uh, spaceship. Spaceship is the wrong word. A zeppelin, maybe? It's a big airship. I think airship is the only correct term. So we'll just make sure the inside of this has one of these every so often. And now there should be no chance at survival. So let's just jump out. And what do you reckon, chat? Will the airship be entirely gone? Or not? I think, yeah. I think there's no way. Okay, so as you can see, there's already a hole so big, I think it might not even expand any anymore. This next one's going to destroy an entire chunk too. Oh, no, the, it, the first bit came back. You ever see that? Minecraft must cache where blocks are, because those have been long deleted. Bro's causing a nuclear fallout after the nuclear fallout. I'm pretty sure nuclear fallout is the easiest way to cancel out a nuclear fallout. Yeah, so that's so weird. This actually did come back. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> wow. What? Just... Have you ever seen that before? Is that a thing that's meant to happen? Um... Yeah. Also, is that a Zippo lighter for the flint and steel? Oh, you're right. It is, actually. It's weird that the brand name Zippo is so ubiquitous. Like, it's a generic. Like how you Google something. You zippo. It's a very interesting point. But yeah, it's a... That's a that's a fun little a fun little detail I wouldn't have spotted otherwise. Uh, it's, a, it's a lighter rather than a flint and steel. There's a lot of fun details about this, I think. Also, there's a lot of blocks sitting down here. Oh, actually, what is this? Lily pads? Why do the lily pads look like this? Bedrock rendering is weird, says Pout. Bedrock rendering is weird. Also, um, Toy Cat the Destroyer. That is what they call me. That is what they call me. So yeah, that was very nice. Good way to end up a little bit of Fallout, but you know, a little bit of Minecraft. But you know what we should do now? We've we've done we've done the logical thing. Now let's do the illogical thing. Um. Okay, so here we are. Actually, wait, we're not here yet. We're gonna have options. Make sure it loads at the right resolution. Uh, ideally, okay, so, window, let's do it, okay, ultra, we good, show, okay, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a bit different now, internet, a little bit crazy, if you will, but I'm going to switch this over, um, in fact, it might it might specifically if I just close that. Do we, do you see a game right now, Internet? I don't see a game right now. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna. Oh. Oh no! I'm 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 trapped. I don't know where my mouse is. It's. <laughs> you ever have this happen? It's a very particular issue I'm dealing with right now. But my mouse is trapped inside a Fallout. I've never seen a game that can do that to me before. Okay, there we go. We're out. We're out. There we go. Full out New Vegas. Yeah, this is exciting. Oh, continue? What am I going to be continuing? Internet, where do you think it has my save data from? Oh, no. Uh, so we hit continue, we'll just say no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was excited. Also, look, McCarran International Airport, 250. These are real highways. I don't think there's an I-250, though. 
I guess it's from the future. They get, they get, they get Dream Day. Um, so yeah, let's let's do it. You re are you ready, Internet? We've had a we've had a we've had an issue. Uh, mouse didn't survive the fallout. Yeah, this is such a weird game. It takes my mouse in a way it won't give it back to me. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. This is a very particular issue. Um, there we go. Yeah, I wonder what I've got to do to stop that from happening. I like how it still gives you the continue option. Okay, so let me know if you, there are any issues with the, uh, everything else, but I'm just going to dive into this. New game. Going to grab some batteries. Because I prefer playing shooters with controller. I know I'm insane. anything This is, um, Matthew Perry, by the way. War. This War is never Perry. changes. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Oh, the police robots. I totally you forgot about them. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Oh no! I skipped it. I was trying to go to the settings. You're awake. How about? Oh no! Why is it adding all this stuff, by the way? Whoa, easy there. Oh no! Easy. That was a. Okay, I was just trying to go in here. Uh, just trying to turn some subtitles on. Is there subtitles? 
There's no way there's no subtitles. Yeah, they're dialogue subtitles. Oh, they're already on. Should we turn on general subtitles? Yeah, I've got to admit, there is a lot of like... You've been out cold a couple Wait, there's no... <laughs> it says they're on, but they're clearly not, right? So we'll scroll all the way back down here. We'll turn on general subtitles. For days now. Why don't you Still just no relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Select character name. So yeah, you're just a courier, and you know you got shot. But I, I wrote there's there was a cool moment. There was a. I how do I how do I get back to the, <laughs> the start of the game? Got skipped. Okay, it's like okay. can't say it's what I'd have picked <laughs> for you, but if that's your name, Rude. that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? So this... It's funny the idea he's like, oh yeah, so here's what I think you look like. Show, show me what you actually look like though. So, male, you got a good job. Uh, race. These are the four races, it is widely known. Um, we got some presets. You know, what do I look like, internet? Which, which one of these is me? I mean, of these I'd say... Am I closer to th these two? Or this one? You know, if it's any of them, yeah, let's let's go ahead and let's say this one. This is what I look like at a few years of age now. Hairstyle, hair color, we're great. This is who I am. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. Sexiest one is you, says Okay. Oh, thank you. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Good. Oh, that was weird. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Yeah, let's do it. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. <laughs> race. Look at Boom. So far. Okay, wrong way. Bigger machine. Go ahead and give the bigger So the machine. cool thing about Fallout games is kind of like... We'll learn right quick. I guess D&D style. Faculties. They give you stats. And you have to, like, spread the stat points. So my strength, I'm going to say... Average Joe. I think in this one, um, because it's New Vegas, luck makes the most sense to max out. You get better hands at poker, I want to say. Maybe roulette table too. Um, it also helps with critical hits and enemy mishaps. So let's just let's just go all in on luck, right? Agility, you know, that's useful too. Intelligence, eh, not really that big of a deal. Charisma, I like the idea of being charismatic. Um, but I think perception. Actually, even perception, I'm not sure I need. Strength is nice. And whatever gives me more VAT skill is always good, too. So let's go over a little bit of, uh... I want to say it's... Okay, so let's let's just add one more point to something on here. We have to feel like we made a difference. So should we go 7 perception? Let's go 6. Let's go 7 strength, sorry. Although 6 perception. Yeah, 6, 6, 5, 4, 5, 5, 9. Looks great to me. <laughs> With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back in. Yeah, the there we go. Well, He's, we he recognizes I've got good luck. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop it. Oh, can I steal what this stuff? What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go I can. a couple of questions? I got a baseball See now. Do you want to buy it from me? If you want a baseball, I'm just saying I could give you one. But let's sit on the ruined couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Cat. Oh. <laughs> nice. House. Mid. Okay. Not any of these words. Um. Burglarize. No, renovate. Night. Day. Oh, there's so many, actually, in there. So of these, I'd say the closest I got is I guess campfire let's say sleep I like sleep or silence so why not bandit murder 
Yeah, we, we got basically in there. Light. Um, inspiration. You're not torch. Let's go for the Mother. Minecraft answers. If we're in, if in doubt, we'll go for that. So you know what they have in Minecraft? They have cookies. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Honestly, I I like the idea of I am a very conflict averse person. Um, I would rather avoid it if I could. But if someone goes into conflict with me, just for the sake of making them not want to do it again, I'll fight back. So, you know, agree. I definitely agree to my own detriment. Um, I mean, I could pretend that I don't want to be the center of attention, but I am live streaming myself playing a video game right now. So I think that it would be hard of me to say anything but agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I am playing a video game from 2011. So. <laughs> I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Yeah. Uh, no opinion, though. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Um, Tell me what you see. I see two angry things facing each other. Uh, an angry two-headed ant. I can see that. Oh, yeah, I see t I see the two-headed ant. An oozing wound. I don't see that. A shadow in a door frame. A chemical reaction or a... Br I think I see a chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Why am I doing raw sauce chests right now? Like, um... Okay, um... Yeah, this looks like a tiger rug. Or like a beaver. Is that an option? <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to say beaver. Last one. This is two rabbits high-fiving. I don't- that's not an option, apparently. A mushroom cloud? How does anyone see a mushroom cloud from this? If you say you see a mushroom cloud, I'm sorry, but you don't. Oh, I- I guess it- the, the white in the middle could be a mushroom cloud. I don't see a bearded man. That's insanity. A light in the darkness. Yeah, the best I can see is a mushroom cloud. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look <laughs> at the reef. Okay. Oh, so this is... It's, it's trying to pick my best skills. So speech, I, I do agree with. Repair? Uh, it just doesn't feel as fun as something more direct. Um, I think I'd rather have good science, for example. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think... I think Oh, lockpick would be good too. Guns, barter, energy weapons. You know, let's let's go with something. Let's go with something kind of unique. Let's go with science. Yeah. Yeah. Before Thank you I very much. You loose, I need one more thing from you. Yeah, there is a lot of dialogue you you before you can play this. So I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect <laughs> to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I'm glad. Okay, so choose two traits. Um, all weapons have a 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. That's really good because I have luck, so my criticals deal way more damage. Um, gain plus 2 from 6am to 12pm, but minus 1 from 6pm to 6am. I like sleeping at night, so that's actually a big bonus to me. Yeah, I think early bird seems good. Um, your, your, when your health drops below 50%, you get more damage. No one's going to put you out of pasture because you're too young. You'll never again be addicted to chems, and they'll last twice as long. But after 30, you kiss goodbye. You could, Whoa, that's, that's a crazy one. Interesting. Okay, so... From frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw things faster. You're skilled but not experienced. You gain plus 5 points to every skill, but you suffer minus 10% to experience gain from now on. Okay, that seems like a too big of a downside. Wild Wasteland is a weird, wacky quirk. Ah, that's an enabler. Not for the faint of heart or serious of temperament. <laughs> Let's turn it on. I, what, what's it going to do to me, you know? So early bird plus that, so I'll be the best equipped for it. Let's do it. Now All you know right. about my family. Yes, that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm looking pretty good right now. But I'm just going to be walked out of this man's home. 
As soon as I go out, if I wanted to, I could walk back in and murder him. But I'm feeling good about a man who just saved my life. So here's me. In case you're curious, this is what I look like. Um, I'm, I'm very good at early in the day, though, so. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Nice. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Something about a was... platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Oh, it's a I vault grew man. Up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. And put this on too, so the Lord. Thanks for patching me up. The radio says though. six lanes of taillights, red ants marching into the night. Another supper from a sack, a 99 cent heart attack. I got a pounding head and an aching back. I feel this in my soul. Shocked face, Speedy. I. Uh, it sounds like things are going poorly for you, I, or that you're in a you're in a downflow before an upflow. I guess that's how you can always see every ne every beginning of a down can be the start of an up, or the beginning of more down is always the fear. You shouldn't have gone through my stuff. Didn't have much choice. You should talk to Sunny Smiles yeah. before you leave. I Remind reckon some of the I, other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. Just because he saved my life doesn't mean you should too. look at my notes. Anyway, you ever... But try not. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge. I am not going to be playing with hardcore on. Let's go! So yeah, this game was made for the Xbox 360 era. But if you play it with an SSD, it has god tier loading times. So your pit boys receive certain coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prem. Prim? Following coordinates are the words Courier 6, it's signed Ulysses. Lonesome Road's been added, loaded, your level caps increased by 5. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for one more member for an expedition to the Zion Valley. Honest Hearts has been loaded, your level cap has been raised by 5. There's a lot going on there. Huh? First things first, let's talk to one of these robots, because he's all the way out here and that's it. Howdy, partner! Might I say oh, he's a you're looking fit as a fiddle? Um. How did you, I, I went? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone ridge. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs. So I, once they'd run off, I. Thanks for digging me out, background. Can't say that I'm familiar with them. Okay, so I can work out who did that to me and why, if I want to. Welcome to New Vegas. Okay, Gunrunners Arsenal, all major and minor weapon dealers are available. You animesh. Okay, great. So there's a lot of add-ons the game is slowly, like, tacking on right now. But yeah, for now, my inventory looks like this. I've come in, and I've got... Uh, it's pretty just much my life. I mean, it's still got... I I, I hope that that's not a, uh, a bad thing. But yeah, I, I've got a shotgun here. Kind of excited just to shoot something. Oh, Sarah Magic Casino. Also, dead money's been loaded. Level cap phrase by five. <laughs> There's a lot of add-ons that came with this. See, I just kind of want to test this shotgun, so I'm going to shoot one of these. I hope that no one will get mad at me. Oh, this... Okay, yeah, so someone did get mad at me. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Zeppler. I don't know why this is taking me, honestly. Sorry, my bad. Didn't... Didn't realize you that they were your property. Didn't think that was a thing. Whoopsie. Okay, so with that said, hopefully the, the police aren't mad at me for that. Uh, just confirm. Let's go talk to the robot again. Let's make sure he's feeling okay. Um, it says caution, so I imagine I imagine people here are probably quite upset. And try not to do that one again. So if we look on the map, you can see... I don't know where the map is actually. Data? So the, the world map here is based on uh, Las Vegas. So if you take a zoom out... I don't know how to do a zoom out. There we go. You can see we're in Good Springs where everyone is neutral towards me. And this is where I want to be. This is uh, New Vegas, not Las Vegas. And there's a pathway that takes you directly there. But the clever thing about the game is it basically forces you to route round. Because if you go this way, the way the game is encouraging you. Can we sprint? There is a sprint button. I wonder what it is. <laughs> is there a sprint button? Ah, that can't be a sprint. I guess that's a later game thing. If you go the direct way there, the game kind of teaches you you shouldn't do that. 
And it does, see, there's a big keep out sign. And if that's not enough for you, if all of these stop signs that they put there don't encourage you enough, uh, then it's because, uh, then, you know, just a really hint that something will go wrong. There's more keep out signs. <laughs> it's fun. I, before you go deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Look, travel onwards. Looks great to me. But, um, yeah, I get Minecraft Bedrock for free, says Aroda. You know, we're not playing Legacy Console. We don't need those messages anymore. But, uh, yeah, if we just sneak a little bit in here, you'll see why we shouldn't have gone past that. So there's a big creature in the Fallout games. Um, you don't need to know about it just now, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's also these cans of doors. Oh! And as you can see, it has more health than sense. And, uh, we have a few. We actually do have a few, like, stim packs we can take just to, like, keep our health going. But, um, I mean, I'm going to need something pretty crazy for this. I'm going to whip the grenade rifle out. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> as you can see, internet, uh, deciding to, to go that way is very bad. I think it's beautiful. Like, I... Even with all these crazy weapons, right? Even with all of that stuff, I still could not do that. And so it's reloaded me back here. Where I'm now going to talk to the robot Howdy, again. Partner. I'm just going to uh, ask him a few questions, make sure I spoke to him. Okay, so he's from... If you see his brothers, tell him Victor says hi. So now what the game has taught me is, oh, I go that way, I will die. And so instead, I don't shoot this man's uh, cows, and I get to learn from my mistake and go talk to Sunny Smiles in the Prospector Saloon. Also ignore all of these extra little side quests. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go to the Prospector Saloon. Is this the Prospector Saloon? It'd be a mighty sad saloon if so. It's Victor's Shack. Do you think anyone lives in Victor's Shack? I mean, presumably Victor. But yeah, we can go in and take his stuff. Oh, it's not its not stealing. It's taking. Which means Victor has long since been dead. Oh no, Victor's the robot, right. So I can sleep in his bed. And I can wait until it's tomorrow morning. So if I sleep for 22 hours, it'll be 6am tomorrow. And I'll keep my stat boost for longer. Um, passing through the castle is ambitious. Try to kill him low level. It's sheer suicide, uh... Says our primary Kronos. It's the beauty of this game, right? Is the the fact that it gives you the choice. It doesn't say don't go there. It says go there at your own peril. I love when open world games teach you a lesson, but a defeatable lesson rather than uh, one like that. There's a there's a beauty. There's a, there's a beauty in it. So I'm gonna go to the saloon, which I can now see is over there. Also, why does Victor need a house? He's a robot. Also, it looks like all of the uh, the, the guy is still out here. Let's go speak to him. Howdy. Oh. You know, I don't feel bad about killing him, knowing that that's all he is. You know, like, I came all the way from out of town here to say hi, and the best small talk he can do is howdy. You know, how do you do? Not very polite, clearly. Let's go speak to Sonny. You have to rename the stream, Cheyenne says stay. JoJo. Don't you know, worry. She won't bite unless I tell her. Let's it. do it. Oh, it freezes the game if I try. You know, we don't need to rename the stream. I think it's Cheyenne, great the way stay. it is. Don't worry. She won't bite unless oh, I tell I her to. Oh, I did something. Something weird's happened. <laughs> I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest Sure it? can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. That's nice. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay, sounds good. I'm a little short and cap. Don't suppose there's any work available. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old... If you want to take a shot. Yeah, let's go for it. A magazine on locksmiths. The lock's too much for you to handle. And the bobby pins? You'll need... Thank you. Oh. So she's going to give me some bobby pins in the magazine. And uh, let's talk about the areas around good springs. Uh, what kind of creatures are there? Around here, there? mostly coyotes and geckos. The geckos aren't too tough, but Is she going to tell me about bite. the Cazadors to the north? I've heard... Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear yeah, of the hills don't north go north. Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. What other towns are nearby? Southeast, Southeast of here is, is Prim. Prim. Can't miss it. Fun Since fact, it has I've actually been to Prim in real life. Right in the middle of town. 
The NCR's gotten awful It was cool to go there. after playing this. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. What does take kindly to being shot? The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. Don they can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I... Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Doc Mitchell said you could keep yeah, surviving in the I desert. Guess there's so if I wanted to, I could go speak to her back there. But I think it sounds like I got a real nice head start. She's given me a book. Uh, skills. Items, I guess. She gave me a handy little book. Which, if I read it, I'll get a boost to my ammunition. Thank you. Um, Vault 13 Canteen. Aid. Locksmith's Reader. So if I read this book, I get plus 10 to my lockpicking. Which is going to be good. And so now I can go and pick that safe in the old schoolhouse. Chat, do you think the old schoolhouse is the building I was just in? Like, what would a schoolhouse look like? If you had to... Oh, that's that's it over there. 100%, right? I don't know why that yells, there's a school there. Okay, you don't need to rename the stream. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he doesn't need to rename it. This is Minecraft. Yeah, the, 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 the graphics here are incredible. I feel like these stop signs are a bit unnecessary. I feel like there's not been a big need for those in a while. But yeah, let's go into the schoolhouse. Which I just have to assume this is. In fact, I know it is now. Let's go pick that safe. Except, oh no, there's some bugs. Let's, um... Machete? Dynamite? Grenade rifle? Shotgun? Throwing spear? I guess I'll use the pistol. shouldn't be shooting this many bullets to achieve this effect. You know, this is actually a good time to have a machete instead. Let's let's just let's just whack things. There we go. Much Oh, whoa. Okay, critical strike. Great. So the mantises only have legs on them, but the legs are worth nothing. Not not very good in general. I don't know if I'm meant to do anything with the mantis legs. But in here somewhere there's a a vault. I mean a a safe. But I can't pick the safe because even with my lockpicking increase, I can't get in. So we'll use the terminal instead. Welcome to Robco Industries Terminal. Set terminal, inquire. Set file slash protection, owner. Okay, whatever. So this is um fun. They have a game. This is basically Wordle. So you, you type in, say, keeping. And it tells you that four out of the seven letters in keeping are correct. So you know that could be I-N-G. Most likely it's I-N-G. And then one of the other letters. So selling has four letters in common with keeping. The same... Ooh, yeah, so we know that it has to be the E and then the I-N-G that are the four out of seven correct. And so sterile is incorrect. Warring is incorrect. Violent. Showing. Showing could be correct. Yeah, it could be a different four letters that are correct. No, it has to be... Yeah, there has to be four letters in common with both. So wearing is probably going to be right. No. Okay, hearing. Hearing has every letter in common with wearing, bar one. And now I've played Wordle. I can get into the computer. Every computer in the uh, in the apocalypse is accessible via a good game of Wordle. It's just in case the owner dies, you know. And now we can disengage the lock on the safe. Eleven bottle caps. A lead pipe. Is that better than my machete, do you think? I doubt it is. Mentats, pre-war money, stealth boy, and a super stiff pack. So some real powerful stuff in exchange for me being just a little bit curious. And then there's a metal box with a tin can in here. Yeah, this is sad. It's weird to think that there were schools before the apocalypse. And after the apocalypse, we just have too many other things to focus on, apparently. So now, let's go to the highway, like the woman said. So she said something along the lines of, if you go off the main roads, you might die to a pack of coyotes. Imagine hacking by just playing Wordle. Yeah, fun fact, all good computer hackers are just playing games of uh, Wordle. That's all I know. Also, when the melon, hello, good to see you on your first look at stream. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. Um, so yeah, this is a road. If you if you ever experienced the road in real life, they're like roads in the apocalypse, but slightly fewer potholes. Because uh, the yeah you get it. Um, 
No wait, the jug should be slightly more. No wait, no, slightly fewer. I got it. I'm I'm done. I'm mixing that. Should I get should I oh whoa! Something weird just happened. There's a suave gambler hat here. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on, chat. So right now I'm kind of feeling a bit naked. So I think putting on this hat is gonna help me feel a little bit less there. Uh, and I'll put on the lightweight armor. Is this better? So this is DT8. This is DT none. So yeah, put on the armor. There's a better armored suit here, but this this works great for me. And now this is what I look like, chat. <laughs> I can't say I'm in love with the idea. But I'm not in hate with it either, which is great. Indiana Jones reference. I mean, it's not a very good Indiana Jones reference if he's dead. But I got the, I got the hat, and that's what matters. So, yeah, I, I, I love whenever something weird and wacky happens. But yeah, if you ever drive in, if you ever drive from California to Vegas, I learned it the other way around. But um, if you ever drive between the two states, um, yeah, I'm good. Then you'll notice a giant roller coaster as soon as you cross the border. In Prim. Also, Las Vegas left. I know they just told me not to go left. But I really want to anyway. So we just go see what happens over there. I think we should just go see what happens. So we're going to Gene Skydiving. Activate the radio. See if maybe there's anything in here worth grabbing. It looks like definitely not. It's almost like a waypoint more than anything else. You can see the sky doesn't even exist past this thing. Yeah, this is this is a worthless little shack. But I could sit in the chair for a bit and wait if it came to it, I guess. Or maybe that was a reason I was meant to go in there. Because you see that over there? There's someone way off in the distance. Do I have binoculars? Uh, I do have binoculars. Okay, let's check. Oh, th this isn't how binoculars work in the real world, chat. So I'm just going to go over there and I'm going to find out why he's pacing. Because I want to go on the roller coaster so bad. But I also want to go see this. So one of the inaccuracies here is it says this is I-15. But I mean, this is clearly not a road up to interstate standards. Probably villager trading. So on tip uh, $188, please. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit concerning the way he's pacing. I'm not sure what I meant to... I'm not sure what I meant to take that from that. I will say state prison next exit. You know, he's probably friendly, right? People who walk around and pace in circles, generally good guys. So I'll just... <laughs> this is these are the most worthless binoculars ever. What are they for? Unless there's some way to zoom them in that I just don't know. Yeah, I don't think there is. So we'll just... Should we sneak up on the guy? Yeah, I think he murdered these people, actually. So I'll just... Oh, no, don't look at me. Hello. Hello there, friend. How's it going? Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Okay. I'm not a lawman. You're good. Is this a, is this a lawman? Is this... Did you take this man's... Or this woman? Oh, that's, it's nice. He's uh, He's got a bit of a quality gun on this system. Today's position. So there's a little... A, a book that I can read. That'll make me better. At, um... Today's position. I'll read my med skill up by 10. So just confirm that is how it works. Here is my... My stats say that I currently have... Uh, medicine skill 19. And so if I drink this... Today's position... It's 29. Wow, that is really good. Just a plus 10 boost. Just because I read something. Oh god, oh god. Um, so, there are some people running towards me with guns. So, I'm going to whip out a grenade rifle. If you shoot, I'll shoot back. Just know. I have a... Yeah. You going to stop now? Is it... Are you guys friends? Or... <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to walk around you now. We're good. Honestly, yeah, having a grenade launcher solves a lot of problems. I was sure that was going to go poorly for me. Let's go speak to them. You know, since they've... Let's just... Let's not test our luck too much. You eyeballing me? Any lawman that comes after me uh. won't have it easy. Any lawman that comes <laughs> after me won't have it easy. <laughs> they only know two phrases. Is it? Any lawman that comes... Yep, they've got, they've got a lot of great opinions. 
Oh, today's position wears off. Oh, it's a temporary boost. Oh, that's terrible. I thought it was like a permanent one. That'd be more fun. So if you find those books, you've got to wait until the exact moment you need them. Um, so, intriguing. So as you can see, there's another powder ganger over there. If it comes to it, I can just explode them, though. So this guy's got a guy of no clothes next to him. Any lawman oh. that comes after me won't have it easy. Interesting. Any lawman that comes after me <laughs> won't have it easy. I love that they've all got the same. Like, what? Well, are they, you know, let's not think about it too hard. There's just a gang full of people for whom, you know, lawmen coming after them is something that they do not want to wish make easy. That was a skill magazine, not a skill book. Oh, that's funny. So if you read something in a magazine, you lose it a little while after is the is the in-game law. But once you read a book on something, it's like permanently locked in. I wonder if that's true. Like we do associate like smarter stuff with books versus magazines. Also, we're in snow now. So that is a scary little mole rat. But that's okay. Hello, friend. Maybe I was just seeing things, but I could have sworn I saw some people up on the ridge by the quarry. He probably did see some things. You know, we all do. It's a, it's a scary time. But yeah, let's walk into his mining office. Let's, uh... Oh, so this is, this is owned. We can't do anything with this. And if we sleep here, we'll wake up to someone being mad that we're sleeping in their bed. But since no one's looking around anyway, we'll just open the vending machine, grab a few sunset sarsaparillas. No one will notice that they're gone. I've lost karma. Oh. So the game has morality. I, I, did, I forgot about the morality system. Which says that you shouldn't just steal. Just because you can steal, it doesn't mean you should steal. I love their accents. Um, what do you think about the idea of generative AI being used to fill dialogue gaps for low-level characters? Personally, I'm not sure it's a great idea. See, here's the question. Do you think it's better... Hold oh. up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I turn back I turn if I back. were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you... I think that I'll be fine. They moved into the quarry. We shut the quarry. The NC... Okay, I could take care have of your you death claws. Have death... You'd have to be the meanest... You'd need to take the out mother the mother death claw on the death claw. Mother alpha death claw. Okay, I can do that. Um, I've been there once. So... And I don't... I've seen, I've a, lot seen a lot of, of folk. folk. Okay, what's this place? This. Wonderful. Why, you don't get paid in cash? No. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. So he's working in the quarry. That's okay. So what does the NCR need some It all for? gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. Okay, let's talk about something else. Goodbye. If you insist on going... Okay, so I'm going to save the game real quick. There is a save for that. There we go. We're good. And we're just going to we're just gonna go north where the death claws are. And I'm going to hope that this grenade launcher is powerful enough. I mean, clearly it's safe up there or the quarry the work The death claws have been be keeping their distance. For now. Yeah, they're keeping their distance. It's safe. Let's go, to, let's go to Vegas, chat. Let's go to Vegas. Um, also, fun fact, the Warden uh, te Fallout Texture Pack was updated. The Warden is the Death Claw. I believe that you are seeing and hearing people there, but I can't. It's so the beautiful thing about um, hallucinations. Is really, it is just an experience that is individual to one person. But we spend so much of our life having those experiences that it's almost bizarre we're not all hallucinating all of the time. So we'll go to sleep for another 17 hours or so. And we'll wake up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. And if we wake up nice and fresh, I'll be that little bit more powerful and more able to deal with the death floors. I might also wake up and a death floor will be in my face, but I'm going to hope that that's not the case. 6 a.m., ready to go. Okay, so yeah, the death claws look scary. But if I just avoid them. Okay, caution. That's bad. Oh, oh no, he's looking at me. Okay. 
So this is VATS. It's like you slow down the game. And we're just going to try and desperately shoot his torso. Oh, he's got so much health, chat. He's got so much health. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I've worked out a weakness at least. He gets trapped on this. Real easy. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Lesson learned. Even with all the most powerful stuff, you can't sneak past a death claw. So I'm going to try a different strategy. Right? I'm going to go around the death claws. They're telling me I can't take the direct route. So I'll take the indirect route. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Although there's a... There's a... What is it called? A superhuman? A super mutant? Uh, we're going to go to Neil's shack. I'm going to try and hide my weapon. And I'm just going to go say hi. This is a dangerous place, human, especially Hello, for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. Uh, what makes this a dangerous place? You must place? have heard her radio broadcasts. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. I did not listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. So, if I had more speech, I'd be able to overthrow Tabitha. I'll try it anyway. Hmm. <laughs> While well, you're in th Uh, why are you here instead of Jacobstown? Marcus sent me here, but with no signs. Down here, on the other hand, I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing, so I've stayed here. Thanks for the warning. What trouble should I expect my head up? The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. Three blockades, there are three blockades plus patrol. Patrol. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound. Heavily Heavily. guarded by Nightken. The Nightken are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them. They were created to be soldiers and okay, given so devices got, to camp. Got the... They spend most of their time at the top. Okay, so let's not go up the mountain. Sounds good. Thank you for thank you for the heads up, friend. Very nice of him. But so we won't go up there. And we won't go on the road. We'll just perfectly straddle the line in between. And pray we don't get murdered by a death claw. <laughs> Seems like a plan to me. So. Oh no. Oh no, it's not a very good plan. Okay. This is what they were talking about when they said I'd be in danger. I should have believed them, chat. I should have believed them. <laughs> Okay, we'll just we'll just climb up. We're just climbing up the mountain when I climb. And as long as there's no death claws, or if there are death claws, the death claws will take out the super mutants, and there'll be no more problems. There we go. I see Vegas. Oh, I can't climb up over this. Have they put invisible walls up? You know, I said that I really loved the way this game did it, but there we go. We go around. Hey, we. I think I just beat. Oh no, there's death claws here too. <laughs> okay, there is no escaping them. Also, I think one of them just found out about me. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the light on my pit boy. I'm gonna keep jumping up around here. And I'm just gonna try and walk along the edge of what is physically doable. Because I've, I've always wanted to get past one of these. And I'm sure that if you just invest all your talents in like explosives and then have like the perfect weapon. It's easy. But I'm thinking I'm just going to jump my way around here, walk along the mountains, and there we go. I think I just avoided death claw death. Or maybe just death claw. The claws of death, maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, those death claws are not from Boston. You know, all death claws are from Boston emotionally. I wish I could click a button and sleep for 17 hours, says Jeff Shannon. That's one of my favorite bits about all video games. Is the agency to do silly things like that so instantly. Planning your own life would be a lot easier. If it worked that way. Also, I finally made it past. I'm now at the Repton headquarters. It's one of the rival companies to uh, vault Tech in this How universe. May you, How may you serve me? Oh, he's got swords in him. That's nice. So as you can see, this is a lovely little building. I imagine the Repcon headquarters has a lot of cool stuff going inside of it. But right now, we're not focused on that. We're focused on going to New Vegas. Let's go. 
So, yeah, I managed to get past the worst of it. But again, mostly because I know it's over there. I think most people would just say at some point, let's take the easy way through this. I'm kind of glad we didn't, though. So just quickly take a fission battery and a fission battery and probably that's about everything around. Oh, a doctor's pack. That sounds good. And a fission battery. And that's... Oh, and a Nuka-Cola bottle. So there's a whole machine here. There's something really fun about this universe. Chat. And it's this idea that... Um, because everyone uses bottle caps because, you know, they're like an unmintable currency. But if you could just find a bottle cap factory, you know, like a, or a bottling plant, you would have bottle caps to your wildest dreams levels. And I always thought that's a really fun idea, too. Um, how long is this going to be? I might come back, says uh, Lightning McQueen. Honestly, I feel like I want to just, like, get a, a crazy long stretch of Fallout into my life. Uh, I know I realistically should not, but it's what I want to do. Okay, so I there's a person over there. Oh, okay, he's, he's, they're worried about other things. They're not worried about me right now, <laughs> thankfully. But let's see what they are concerned about. Because they're definitely dying. So it's a fiend. Oh. So I guess they're trying to show that New Vegas is well defended. Because a fiend just appeared, and then immediately was murdered. Something to keep in mind. Okay, let me, let's, let's talk to the soldiers that killed them. See what they have to say. We should be taking the fight to the Legion, not waiting for them to pick us apart. Oh, yeah, they've got, he, he's got some opinions. What about you? Do you have opinions? I'm not sure you should be here. Okay, you know what? Nice, nice talking to you. I'll be on my way. <laughs> um, I, uh... Brain, I'd like to sleep for exactly one hour. How about you think about the stupid mistakes you made for an hour instead? You know, you ever heard the phrase like, oh yeah, well, I do this because it helps me sleep easy at night? Do you think people actually ever have that on their mind? Like, well, you know, if I do this, then I won't sleep well, and sleep's so important to me that... What well, do you think it's like a... Uh, or do you think no matter how like good a life you live, you're always going to have... Some dumb version of those ports. There's a monorail over here. Fun. I want to go on the monorail. How do I go on the monorail? I'm betting I can jump up onto this. Okay, so let's, let's try. No, I can't. It's If we jumped up onto this, maybe. Okay, so we'll jump up. Nope, the engine doesn't work that way. Oh, it kind of does. I'm up here now. Okay, so no matter how hard I want to believe, I can't get up onto the monorail, which means I can't get into the city. So instead, we'll take a walk around this side. That's the uh, the stratosphere, or some you know New Vegas equivalent. And so that's my like, that's where I'm kind of beelining towards. But I really just need the entrance into the city, which I'll do somewhere around here soon. But yeah, it's kind of cool these like super futuristic like monorail highway implements and stuff like that. It's cool to see that even in a far gone future where everything's been destroyed, it still exists. Also, this turned from Fallout Minecraft to Fallout New Vegas, says Bobby Edward. Yes, it did. I have no shame in admitting that. Okay, so now now we've now we've succeeded mostly. Let's finish up and get inside of Vegas itself. Uh, glitzy Vegas. Uh, this is Minecraft 1.21, says Fluid Logan. Yep, that is the we, we, that is what we're going with. Try and prove me wrong. I challenge you. So there's a couple of buildings here. There's, that one says Gun Runners. Oh, I know the Gun Runners. This was always one of my favorite places to go to just sell excess guns. Because you need caps in general, right? So having a good place to get them tends to be pretty Welcome, handy. Sir Orma. Show me what you have for sale. So now I can buy some some stuff if I want to. There's so much of it in here. <laughs> like, I can buy a, a mini nuke if I want to. But I don't want to. I've only got 30 caps. So instead, I'll sell some of my more silly stuff. So I think, for example, my pre-war money. If I just unload that, he'll give me 85 caps. That's very good. I like having 85 caps. Let's do it. 
impressive weaponry, and he constructs it on site. How did you get inside this there? This kiosk was specially <laughs> constructed around me. So the, that's that's how he got in there. It was constructed around him. There's no way in. There is a companion dismissal terminal. Yes. Who is my companion? But yeah, as you can see, it's a very bizarre shack. How do they get the guns in there? I guess they get the guns in the same way they get them out to you. Um, But yeah, let's walk into the... Wait, we can't go in there. I know this is near the entrance to the city, but I don't know where the entrance actually is. Because that's the building I want to be in. But you can't just walk straight from the outskirts inside. So maybe where this highway ends is where the main entrance would be. Oh, yep, there we go. There's some accidental troop to that. Makes me want to just jump on the highway and see what's actually up there. But nope, today we're going into Vegas. Excited. It, it takes a little bit of time to get here. Or we're in Freeside. Though they have a rough history, you don't get to read that. That's fine. So this is kind of meant to be like Fremont Street. Uh, kind of meant to be like the old style part of Vegas. Um, but, you know, because it's old Vegas, it's very, very destroyed. Um, th there are a couple of cool things in here, though. So let's go into Ralph's. See what's happening. Mick and Ralph's. Got a lovely building in here, Mick and Ralph. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Um, I like to know about Freeside. Who's the king? If you haven't heard of the king. The king has his boys, yes, boys all over Freeside. Freeside. He controls the water because he controls the water pump. Seizes the gun. They're the local energy weapon dealer. Glorious. Ma so you can buy a lot of fun things here. Their joint is the only place Ooh, gambling. to get it all under one. Gambling room. booze, cams, and good folks. Just don't cross them. Okay, we're gonna go find the bank racks. Sounds exciting to me. So I'm guessing. Oh God! What do you mean? No, no, don't do this. Okay, please. I, I'm allowed to murder you, but I have an explosive that I really don't think I should use. Where'd he go? Is he up here somewhere? There he is. Okay, so I'm just going to get out my throwing spears. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Got all the way ready. It was such a waste. He broke into a building just to start attacking me. <laughs> very, very bizarre. But now I have an excuse to be in these people's upstairs. So I'm going to look through their possessions, see if I can sleep in their bed, maybe. Nope. This is someone else's bed. They will be mad You're if I free to look around. Oh, they they literally say I'm free to look around their house. Lovely people, honestly. I'm going to keep that in mind. Mick and Ralph's? Good friends. Um, too bad they didn't get the rights for Elvis's tunes. Okay, Acme Reality. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's good. It's fun that I didn't even have to fight those people myself. There was someone else who was involved in doing it for me. Yeah, so this building, Acme Realty, long since been destroyed. Nothing we can do in there. But I'm not looking for that, I'm looking for Van Graffs. Bit of a weird name, really. You're already in someone's hit list, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I feel like I've been pretty neutral today, even the people who kept saying... We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ro Stop by Mick and... I Mick want to and talk Ro to the child, but he just... Is located <laughs> just before the East <laughs> okay, that's fine, he doesn't have to tell me. Are you going to talk to me about Howdy. things? Oh, that looks bad. You know, it's fine. She's just muddy. She probably hasn't killed a person. Um, so let's do a little bouncing around. Oh, these people. That look like the boys, right? Elvis's boys. The king controls the water pump. If you um, how much for a drink? Just a... Never mind. Can I buy bottled water? Oh, so they sell water by the bottle, too. If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down gotta have some way to regulate usage okay so they they they, they stand by the water pump the and pump charge to use it the king. you'll need to pay if you want to drink what if i throw a spear at him oh god no i, I didn't think he would throw oh god oh no i'm gonna die okay so i'm just gonna i might have made an enemy just that chat but it's okay um i'm gonna throw spears at him yeah <laughs> Such a silly way to kill someone. But now I've got unlimited water. It's my water now. Mm, sippy, 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 sippy. <laughs> Freeside infamy gang. Oh, my bad. 
I just wanted to drink some water. Oh, I keep getting more infamy every time I drink. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that though. I'm, I'm enjoying the water. And I do not mind the villainy. Yeah, free side infamy gain. I don't mind. Look at all this water I'm getting, chat. Look at all this water. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> so this is exactly what you shouldn't do in this game. But I'm just going to keep on drinking anyway, all the way up to max health. I could go a little bit beyond max health, honestly. And now if we check on the map, it'll say something like, um, you know, free side, shunned. I don't know what goes beyond shunned, but people aren't going to like me here much anymore. But first, let's grab his bottled water. I don't know how he has none. He was just willing to sell me some. Um, I think I have a bad 10 mm So we'll grab that. And I won't wear his outfit. But I will apologize for taking off his leg. They always lose their legs. I feel like something else would have killed him first. So he kept putting his mouth all over the nozzle. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, come on. We all have to drink from this. And so this is a door to Freeside. How can that be? I thought I was already in Freeside. But I just want to find a bed that's somewhere out in the open. Or somewhere maybe not out in the open. Should we go in here next? Hello. Welcome oh, to Ben Graff. New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. Okay, let's go in. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before let... Oh, search away. There. I've stopped... Okay, so as long as I don't kill people while I'm inside... Mr. Soren, please we'll get do the great. Point. Got a problem. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Oh. Never break faith with the Van Graffs. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. <laughs> Should we follow this guy? Okay, everyone. People are... Show's over. Back to work. That was cool. Let's go speak to this lady. She seems cool. Welcome to the Silver Rush. We're only top of... I... Mind if I ask you some questions? Do you have any work available? It just so happens a position opened up. Yeah, count me in. Wonderful. He's been with the family for years. Okay, so I've got a new job with these guys. I mean, I love them. They've got the ash pile. Birds of a feather. They flock together, is what I've heard. But, um... Yeah, I, uh... So I can't may I ask why the normal cup? It's a Dunkin' Donuts cup. It's my. It's part of my gas station merch collection. Welcome to the Silv. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Looks like we're stuck with I've each other. I've been paired with worse, I guess. Anyway, let's see if you can follow on street. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Okay. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I'll get your gear out. Okay, so my job is being a bouncer now, chat. I'm looking forward to this. There's no customers around, though. It's not a very good okay, job. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor. Next, your weapon. Oh yeah. Guards are required to use rifles. Heck Anything yeah. lighter, copper. Anything heavier, and people are too scared to come. Laser or plasma? I think plasma sounds cooler. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure. Now that you're equipped, a quick word: drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential cust. That is, after we okay. pack them down for weapons. Don't so... start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie. Lastly, so I literally am here to be a bouncer. Double. How Trust is that a quest, chat? The rifle I'm so and armor are nice. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. Okie dokie. Oh, this is a cool weapon too. Oh yeah. Exciting. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser. You've got some hours away. before your shift ends. Here comes a wonder. How Do you really think I have to be a bouncer for a few hours? Oh, here comes a winner. Let's shoot him, chat. Should we just do it? I've always wondered how you can search Ash and pull out. You just, you just go sifting through it. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a He does not look drunk at all. Um, sure is going in. 
<laughs> um, let's do it. Great. We're supposed to pat everyone down. Okay. Didn't you hear that part of my instructions? I hope, I hope he doesn't shoot the place up. Sorry, I'll do it better next time, Fred. Welcome. Another one coming. You're on. Okay, where is he coming from? I guess he's gotta be over here somewhere. See, there's no way someone just came from that building, but I'll I'll suspend my disbelief. I could just shoot this guy, right? Yeah, there's nothing to stop me. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh no, no. Hey man, we were we're bouncers together. Oh, I failed a quest. Can't believe that's oh no, I am very I very failed. So if you shoot, if you shoot customers, they don't like that. I don't understand the new world at all. So let's quickly speak to him again. Welcome to the seal. Okay, I'll get a laser gun this time. Okay, so let's Good. look around. Look around and get a feel for what customers and risks can enter and exit the area. Ah, uh, so that's that's there is a point to this. Okay, now. Okay, so I'll go with a laser gun this time. Perfect. So this is, honestly, it's just as ugly looking a weapon. But yeah, the first guy is going to come from over here. Yeah, this is... Uh, sorry, sir, can't let you in company policy. He's going to run away now. Why are you shooting me? What did I do wrong? <laughs> That's so interesting, huh? Um, the ground grass shoot at bartering after purchase. Customers to a Welcome okay, to the let's seal. try that again. Don't good. Look okay. So I'll go for a plasma weapon. Risk risk exit the area. I get you keep so Kat, you need to scroll okay. down for more options. Okay. So let's try this again. And let's let's make sure he doesn't get mad and try to kill me. Settle in. You got some hours left to get the shift in. Or I could just kill the guy now, but he wouldn't even know. Here comes a gun. I'll let you handle this. One. I'm excited, chat. Can I can I do this? Can I be a good bouncer? If I go too far from the door, he gets mad. So I'll wait for him to come to me. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Okay. So sorry, sir. I can't let you in. Get the hell out of here. You're drunk. Fine, I'm going. I'm going. Is More he gonna like, like that? Going to the for another drink. You watch. <laughs> Let's see if he goes to the. Oh, the Atomic Wrangler. That's where I wanted to be. I think. Another one coming. You're on. So the other guy just comes out of that building very confusingly. Um. And this guy will just. Should we? We'll, we'll wait till he comes to us. No, I'll, I'll walk to him. It's fine. Evening. Uh, hi. I. Um. We're gonna have to search you first. Actually, we'll ask if he's drunk. Um, <laughs> no, but you need to be searched. How do I know you're not drunk? Let's just. Fine, bye. Uh, hi. Uh, we're gonna have to search you first. Okay, great. Are you happy with me? Are you good? Welcome to the Silver Rush. New okay. Vegas is best source of laser and plasma weapons. So he's talking to me right now, even though we're on a job together. That's fine. I'll keep the weapon out. Just point it at their heads. Make sure they know what's going on. Typical sober guy mimicking a junkyard always ends badly. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine I'm suspicious wares. of this man. He... Um. Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my no, word good enough for you? No, your word is definitely not good enough for me. Your word doesn't matter. It's company policy. In a word, If no. that's the case... Wow, you're a real people person. Oh, he's mean to me. What am I meant to say? <laughs> Looks like that guy's headed this way. I bet if I just Don't shot the customer, no one would mind. Okay, which guy's heading this way now? That guy, maybe? I like this. This is uh, this is being a bouncer in the future simulator. Always been my dream to do something along those lines. Glad I'm getting to live it. Should we just start shooting? We could just get a get a head start on the whole thing. Kill the guy. Get the job done. Would be real good. But we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait politely. How's it going there, friend? Hey, looking for... Um, have you been drinking, sir? What? Are you talking back to me? Damn. Hey. Oh! <laughs> now, what in the hell do you suppose that's about? Interesting. 
Well, you know. Oh, revenge note. Oh, that's exciting. We can find out what that was about. So let's read the note. So there was a guy who was going to come in here and try and get revenge on everyone. So I think that goes into data. It goes into miss. Revenge note. To whom it may concern if you bring this, I'm likely dead. Hope I managed to take out some of those price stand for grand van graphs for me. My family deserves that much. Oh, I should let him kill some people. What? Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Should we shoot the corpse? Whoa! Okay, it just vanishes. Wild. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, bro. Things are about to get interesting. Why? Oh, it's the... Oh, I... I might have killed this guy's colleague, so let's hope he doesn't ask about that. <laughs> I might have stolen all of their water. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little help for today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. Looking forward to help. Good to hear, buddy. Where's the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along. Should we just I'm shoot him? Always thinking of would solve a lot of problems. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire. Um, I'll make sure to pass it along. Way to keep your head, rookie. It's hope for you yet. Nice. It's just about closing time. Oh, that was a that was not a very long shift, swords. but I'm happy with it. Oh, they no the rifle and the armor. Ah, oh, I didn't realize keep that me. was an option. Simon's been telling me how you had a little bit of a hard time following instructions. Unfortunately, I found added. someone else with a little more experience, oh, and he'll take over the position I'm not starting gonna have tomorrow. The job. However, an okay, keep talking. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now. I need you to run a package out to a. I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. So yeah, that's fun. That I got to be a bouncer for a little shift. Weird little side gig. I, I never bothered with all of this before. Very fun that that's a thing you can do. You get to murder some people, you get to it's it's a good it's a good day, all things considered. But there's a casino in here, and where there's casinos, I can make a lot of money. So let's sit down and play some blackjack. You gotta purchase chips before you can play the game. Welcome to the atomic Yep, let's buy some NCR base okay. Do we have old money? Okay. NCR money for oh. chips. Never mind. Cash for chips. I'll take a hundred chips. Here's Let's do it. Um, goodbye. So here's the fun thing, chat. Because I have that luck skill so high, I should be really good at blackjack. So let's do it. Um, play with, I don't know, 30 chips. Uh, the guy next to me has good luck. Oh, no, that's my luck. I'm at a uh, soft 19 versus a 10. I think that's good. Um, I think you double down even. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I lost I lost my money. Oh, it's very bad. Uh, so we're just going to increase that bet all the way to the max. Deal again. 5-5 five, five versus a jack. You hit. And we're going to sit right there. Oh, we break even. So we're going to bet again. I love that there is a fully fledged blackjack in here. I guess it's Vegas. You can't not have this. That's 13. Against the 7, you still hit. We're going to stay right there. And I'm going to win 40 chips. So now I'm gonna bring these, uh, bring this bet down a little bit. Play another hand, ten and an ace, blackjack. Hey. Then we're gonna play again. Twenty-five chips. Gonna sit right here. Yay! Hey. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> gonna play with a few more chips. Forty of them, in fact. Jack, Jack. Oh, I love that. Stay right here. Win forty chips. I don't know if my odds actually are going to be better here. You would hope that they are. But you don't. I don't actually know. Perfect. Win some more money. Deal again. Hey, so I can actually release the members video off the stream. Uh, I don't know if you already mentioned it. Oh, chat. So here's something exciting that you might not know about. Um, we have a new members-only video releasing just after the stream. Actually, it's um one of the fun things we do is we take the bloopers and we we release it as a as a members thing. Just because you know, there's dumb stuff like that that I think is really fun to see uh, for some people who are interested. Okay, we're going to do one big bet max, and then we're going to get out of there, chat. Oh, 19 versus a queen. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just stay. Oh, hey, I won big. But yeah, because I've got the luck, I, I think I can do this all day. Let's bet max again. 
Let's do it. 200 chips on the line. Hit again. Oh, perfect. Look at my hand. It's just too perfect. I win 200 chips. And now I'm out of here. 450 caps. Double down. Played blackjack. Is that an achievement that I'm going to get? Or what happens when you do it? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Oh, I leveled Looking up. To exchange? Oh, that is actually very fun. That that was actually a va valuable thing. So I'll take it in caps. And let's, let's go. And now that I'm level 2, I can level up my... Uh, I think it was, uh, I, I had a problem with something in here. We'll just go for explosives. It's a lot of fun. All the way in on explosives. And I can also decide that I want to be a, um, put a single point into a special attribute. And then I can make myself level 10 luck. <laughs> and now I'll be even better at the, the roulette later. Should we play some slots first? Might be a lot of fun. Anyway, yeah, so it's very fun. Got to finally play in a casino inside a video game. Absolutely the dream. But yeah, it's been a very fun stream. If you would like to just start this, we'll do a uh, just as a fun little thing. We'll do we'll do the what's the word? The premiere on YouTube, so you can watch the live unveiling of uh, of the new uh, bloopers. I think it's always a lot of fun to watch those. So I'll be in the chat for that. If you're a member, come check it out right now. Uh, if you're not a member, consider joining. It's uh, something that I would appreciate a lot. And uh, obviously helps out the channel and allows things like the bloopers to exist. Uh, sorry for Dasha who has just joined the stream. Uh, can you do member premieres, says uh, Harrison Craig? Oh, that's a you good look question. Me free side, so I hope so. Here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter. Why wouldn't I go past the... those bots? Are pro okay. The name's Old Ben. I've... I'm I'm concerned about uh, Old Ben. Some of Okay, uh, you said escort like armed well, guards? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. <laughs> yep. Okay, very fun. Okay, so uh, let's talk about something else. Goodbye. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Robot. Submit to a credit check. Um, I'll submit to a credit check. Admission to the strip required. These policies prevent less. Um, please. I'll submit to a credit check. Okay, goodbye. So if I just walk past, he's gonna try and murder him. Oh no, it's the man -whore. Oh, he has been very exploded. Wait, do you think I can search his arm to see what he had? I bet I can. Oh, he had nothing on him. Oh, that was a squatter, that wasn't Old Ben. I think Old Ben's doing fine, hopefully. Nope, that was Old Ben. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this, Mr. Robot. I know your friend, he lives out in Prim. Come back to me. Oh, 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 oh. Don't like what you're doing here. Don't like what's happening. Submit to a anyway, if you remember, go check out. The best time to become a Toycat member was 30 years ago. The second best time is now. It's true. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. If there's not a member premiere, then you can go watch the video. Leave a comment on it like it's a live stream if you want to. No one will stop you. Speaking of no one stopping you, hope you enjoyed today's stream. Because I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, you can't actually properly lick yourself. Bye. Oh, I didn't. This, the end stream button doesn't work if I'm 